Hi, Phil from SMC here to talk to you about programming the new RF-150 1.8DSC. Uh, programming is very similar to our two SESCs, our 110 scale ESCs, and uh, you program the ESC through the fan port. The, uh, to the extreme right, when you're looking at the top of the ESC, I'll just turn it on so you can see the on button. It's flashing red right now because it has no receiver input. The extreme right is the um, receiver connector. The middle connector is the one closest to the button is for the fan port or the program port. So we just simply unplug the fan, plug in the program port, and we can see the screen with all the different parameters. The latest firm, uh, firmware is, we use the last three numbers, is 201. It says 1 8 S turbo. It has forward brake, has uh, the initial brake set to drag brake, drag brake set to 10%. Uh, I find that uh, personally, coming from 110 scale, I like a little bit more drag brake than that, but the default is 10%. Brake strength, uh, the initial brake strength, the default, this fault is always marked with a star on the left, uh, is 80%, and I find that's ample. That's tons and tons of brake with our uh, 1900 kV in a 1 8 buggy. It's tons of brake. Voltage cutoff. Voltage cutoff when you're looking at the set parameters. Uh, the default is 3.2 volts per cell which is actually pretty low. Um, when you're looking at the default parameters when you cycle down between 1 with no cutoff, 2.9 never use, 3 never use, 3.2 is kind of the minimum. When you get to custom it'll say 6.2 is the default. This is the total voltage, it's no longer the per cell voltage. So if you're going to set a custom, which I, I recommend, uh, we typically use around 3.5 volts per cell. So with this 4S, that should be set to 7 volts. Uh, sorry, 14 volts, not 7. 14 volts for a 4S. And you do this by holding either the right or the left button for a second. It'll start to flash and then using the right or left button you can scroll up or scroll down. I'll just scroll this up to 14 because it hasn't been set yet. It takes a while because it was at 6. We'll get to 14. And now I'm at 14. It takes a little beep to tell you that it's accepted that parameter and all you need to do is scroll up or down to go to the next uh, settable parameter and it will have remembered the 14. So we go back and it's still selected 14 at 14 volts, uh, sorry, uh, voltage cutoff set at 14 volts. Next we set the punch profile level. Uh, the default is 7 and we found that that's been uh, the most reliable. Uh, ESC doesn't get hot. The delivery out of the corners is really good, even on very low bite, on tight low bite tracks. Uh, we're very pleased with the performance. Neutral dead band. Boost timing. Uh, we typically don't run a lot of boost. Uh, if we run anything, we will run uh, very, very small amounts. Uh, we'll only be running uh, just a couple of degrees, maybe as much as five degrees, but very little. Uh, more than that just puts a tremendous amount of heat in the SC. You're better to play with the static timing and the gearing to get the uh, speed that you're looking for. Reverse speed, it's not reverse isn't set. Uh, typically reverse speed, the default is 25%. If you like reverse to get yourself out of trouble when you're practicing by yourself, we recommend around 50%. 25 isn't enough to get you off a pipe or if you're stuck on a rock or something. Uh, 25 is pretty mild. We recommend 50%. Dry frequency, uh, the default set to 8 kilohertz. Uh, more than that will make this buggy a little smoother to, to drive, but really in an 8 scale uh, it's not necessary and it does put a lot of heat into the ESC. Uh, same with the brakes. We like to keep the brake frequency pretty low. It's set at 4 kilohertz at the moment. Uh, low brake frequency gives it really nice punchy brakes. Uh, also keeps the ESC nice and cool. Setting the brake frequency higher than that, even on low bite, we don't find there's any advantage. Just puts a lot of heat in the ESC for nothing. Temperature set, uh, we recommend 100 degrees, uh, which is the, the maximum setting. 
reverse rotation if necessary. I we don't typically use it and leave it at normal. Uh, this is a very important option. This is the sensor option. Uh, uh, you're very much uh, encouraged to leave it in censored only. Uh, the car will stop if the sensor wire breaks, but um, the ESC performance the, is far superior and also much, much cooler when running in censored only mode. Uh, set the BEC voltage, the default is 6. And you can do a restore default if uh, you get a little bit lost in your programming and set it all back. And we cycle back through the operational mode and default forward break for racing purposes. Hope that explains a little bit about the uh, default programming. Don't forget when you're finished, turn off your ESC, plug your fan back in, and you're ready to go racing. Enjoy.